Hello, my friends. This is Jonathan Scott inviting you to watch the Thursday Night Show with Justin Young, live from the city that never sleeps, Las Vegas, Nevada, featuring new music and incredible artists such as Gail Johnson, Kim Scott, Jesse Thompson, and Lynn Roundtree. Tonight, Justin Young will be performing and so much more. This is the Thursday Night Show with Justin Young. Good out there, say yeah. What do you think of this here band? What'd you say? Hello, my friends. This is Jonathan Scott inviting you to watch the Thursday Night Show with Justin Young, live from the city that never sleeps, Las Vegas, Nevada, featuring new music and incredible artists such as Gail Johnson, Kim Scott, Jesse Thompson, and Lynn Roundtree. Tonight, Justin Young will be performing and so much more. This is the Thursday Night Show with Justin Young. Hi everyone, welcome to the Thursday Night Show. Hope everyone's doing great out there. I see we've got some folks from Michigan on right now. Hello, Karen, how you guys doing? We've got some folks from San Diego on right now. Marilyn, how are you? How's everything going, you guys? Leave me a comment, let me know what uh, city and state you guys are uh, coming in from. And we have got an incredible show for you. And uh, every Thursday, I'm going to be live right here on all of my different pages. So right now, you might be on my Justin T. Young Facebook page, or you might be on my YouTube page, or you just might be on my official Justin Young Sacks page. No matter what page you're on, thank you so much for joining us. We've got so much fun stuff to talk about. We've got live performances. We've got four amazing guests on the show, and we've also got some special guests. So, Shandell from Riverside, awesome. Good to see you. That's actually a classmate of mine from MBA school, Pepperdine. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see who else we got. I see Michigan is on. I see California is on. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. So you guys are actually live right now in my Las Vegas recording studio. Just moved to Las Vegas about uh, eight months ago and uh, been setting up all this fun stuff. We've got a vocal booth uh, and then behind me is our live room. You can see the uh, acoustic drums back there and uh, we've got a Rhodes back there. But anyways, we've got Makita on from Japan. Thank you so much for joining, uh, joining us, Makita. Awesome. <laughs> oh, this technology is amazing. Can you imagine someone from Japan is like watching this live with you guys? That's too cool, too cool. All right, so um, I have a brand new single called Forever Yours that I'll be releasing uh, on my, to radio on my birthday uh, in June. But in the meantime, I have a exclusive bundle that's available on my website, which is justinyoungsax.com. 
You go to the website and you purchase the Forever Yours bundle. You get the digital uh, single of Forever Yours, and it's a groove. I love it. It's my jam right now. You also get uh, a photo book of all the photos during the session, of all the different musicians, and you get a behind the scenes video. And uh, the behind the scenes video is super cool. It features Roberto Valley on bass. Roberto and I wrote the song along with keyboardist Leon Biscara. Also, uh, in the behind the scenes video, you, you, you're gonna see my dad play guitar and he was also, also behind the mix. So that's very cool. Always great to have my dad on there, Jim Young, um, which he's gonna be on next week as one of the guests. Um, and then uh, between Roberto, myself, Leon, and my dad, and then we've got Kevin Shokran on second guitar. He was a guitarist for uh, Diana Ross and um, amazing Mark Stevens on keys. He plays with uh, Shaka Khan. Um, but it's an amazing band, amazing recording. So awesome, you guys. Hello, Makita, all the way from Japan. That is amazing. I'm also gonna go out on my official Justin Young page right now and say hello to everyone right there. If you guys could see behind the scenes right now, I've actually got <laughs> I've actually got an iPad in front of me showing who's on on my Justin T Young page. And now I'm going to come and check you guys out on the official page right now. Hope you guys are doing great. Welcome to the Thursday night show and uh, this is going to be so much fun. So on my official page, I want to say a big hello to Ken Dobro. What's up, buddy? We've also got Nancy Stack. Nancy, good to see you. As well as Lawrence Moore. Larry, what's up, my man? All the way from South Carolina. Lawrence, all the way from Las Vegas, Nevada. How are you, man? <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you so much. So between the pages, uh, there's a lot of folks out right now, so I really, really appreciate it. So um, let's go ahead and get into the show right now. What do you say, right? Let's do it. All right. So if you guys can, let me know what city and state you guys are uh, checking out the stream from. This is so much fun. Last week, we had four incredible guests, and this week, it's amazing. We've got on the show, we've got Mr. Lynn Roundtree. We also have a lot. Of, we've got Kim Scott, who's a vocalist and a flute player. Gail Johnson, who's also called the first lady in smooth jazz. And, um, you know, I just, there's, this show is so much fun. I'm just going to save some of the surprises for you guys. But uh, before we go too much farther, I can't wait to have... Simona on the show because when Simona gets on she it's her birthday and we are gonna we're, we're gonna have some fun with Simona so let me go back to my other page and just see if Simona's there right now <laughs> and if you don't know Simona you will soon she's been to all my live shows uh, amazing person and uh, I don't see her there yet but uh, when she is we're gonna we're gonna have some birthday songs for her anyways all right so um, what I'd love to do is go ahead and bring out our first guest on the Thursday night show. Um, this is Miss Kim Scott. And if you haven't heard of Kim Scott, she's a vocalist as well as a flute player. And uh, she, she's amazing. So let's go ahead and, uh, and bring her out right now. single out right now that was inspired by this crazy thing we're going through. Uh, oh, yeah. I called it Back Together Again because now that the vaccine is out, that's what we want. We want to be back together again you with sure our do. friends and our family. Um, so I spent a lot of time connecting with fans in non-traditional ways. Uh, I was reaching out through social media, performing concerts on social media, uh, posting performance videos whenever I could on social media. I also spent time writing to fans. We were on maybe the last couple of songs to figure out where we wanted to go. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, had a couple songs and then Justin
maybe the last couple of songs to figure out where we wanted to go. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, had a couple songs, and then Justin uh, uh, reached out and said, "Hey, man, I got got some tunes you may want to listen to." Definitely. Um, <laughs> and uh, after listening, I heard a song uh, that really, really fit me. It's called Dream. Oh yeah. It's actually going to be on this next song, next album of mine. It's going to be a fluid. That's it, right. Uh, closes out the album, and it's a it's a beautiful, beautiful melody. It's a beautiful song. A beautiful set of chords uh, that he sent, and he sent it as a rough. And I said, "Hey, man, I did. <laughs> that's great right there. Yep. We don't need to add anything else to it. Uh, just guitar, percussion, and trumpet. I always want a song like that that I can just play and I can, you know, exude emotion without all of the other elements of the production going in and exactly and kind of getting lost in the sauce. I want people to hear these chords. I don't want people to hear." the emotion coming out of the end of that horn. And when you guys hear Dream, um, it, it, it's gonna, gonna, it, it actually makes you think uh, and feel uh, like you're dreaming. It's true. Um, and in a place that's so content and it feels so good. Uh, and that's the place that I felt uh, when I heard these chords and when I had that concept in my head. So I heard the chords and the concept on my head actually came together. Yeah. Um, and, you know, while we had a couple other songs to, to kind of look through to go on a CD, I think we already had enough strong, uh, you know, heavy produced songs on the CD. And I just wanted this pure one. And, and that's why I did this particular song. It's called Dream. So, you know, look out for it. CD's going to be out soon. Love it, Lynn. Um, check out Dream. Yours truly, <laughs> Mr. Justin Young, y'all.
Vivian. <laughs> I'm on a show. <laughs> All right. Little JY Funky for you guys right there. And uh, um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We've had, uh, I wanted to bring out Kim Scott and instead Lynn Ranchi came up, so that's all good. <laughs> so um, this show is all about, uh, I really wanted to go ahead and bring out some, some fun guests for you guys. And a little bit later, I have a very special guest who's been to a lot of my shows and um, her name is Nancy. And we're gonna bring her out um, a little bit in a little bit. They, they, she actually asked a wonderful question last week. And the question was, um, Justin, tell us a little bit about circular breathing and and um, and and how you do that. And so so we're gonna have we're gonna bring out Nancy in in a little bit. So I hope you guys are doing great out there. I see Shandell, Karen. Thank you guys so much. That's like one of my favorite songs right there. It's called JY Funky from my On the Way album. Um, so you guys rock out there. So let's go ahead and bring out our next guest. I recently wrote a song for this keyboardist, amazing keyboardist. His name is Jesse Thompson. And um, we uh, collaborated on a song and it's gonna be featured on his next single. But he's from Ohio, I'm originally from Michigan. And so we actually had a lot in common. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring out um, Jesse Thompson right now on the show. So you guys keep it locked right here. It's going to be a great show. Here we go. But with this tune, it was different. This tune, it, it allowed us to, to take a step back and to uh, understand that simple is good. Yes. And that the groove is really good. So it's something that's very enjoyable. So the song is, is very, um, it, 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 I was attracted to it right away when I heard it. Thank you, Jesse. And so um, just ecstatic about doing the song. But another reason for me wanting to do the song was it's more than just playing with someone. It's more than just collaborating with another artist or a writer or producer. It's about the connection. Oh, so and true. And yep. Having that connection with Justin, we kicked it off, you know, right from the get go, right from the bat. You know, with my background, his background, and and, and everything that we have done, uh, it may not have been together at the time, but we have made some impact with some some artists and other groups, and those artists and groups have made an impact in our lives. So there's a very good commonality there, some <laughs> common backgrounds that we have and that we share. Exactly. So that connection is very important. Because without the connection, you can make music all you want, you can play with whoever all you want. But if the connection is not there, then it's nothing but merely just distant music or distant notes. So true, Jesse. And we, you know, for me, myself, I don't want to just be heard. I want you to feel the music. I want you to feel what I'm doing and what I'm expressing. So as an artist, that's my goal. So this song um, is something I, I, that I was really um, happy to, to, to be a part of. And simply put, you know, the connection with Justin, that's what that's what did it for me. Thank you, Jesse.
That's one of my all-time favorites right there. That is called Always There. Let's see who else we got out there, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in with us on the Thursday Night Show. We're going to bring out our next guest, which is Miss Gail Johnson, the first lady in smooth jazz. She actually helped me write on my first album, and she's been such a joy to, um, to just collaborate with. And uh, she's amazing, you guys. So check this out. Justin, hi everyone. I'm Gail Johnson, your first lady of smooth jazz. Hey, Gail. Uh, what have I been doing the past year? I've been recording and connecting with everyone, and um, this has really been some time to get a lot of things done that I hadn't had time to do before by being on tour with Norman Brown or being on tour with Jazz and Pink. So sure. I basically turned my house into a musical shrine. I oh, wow. converted my garage into a live studio. I have drums and nice. bass and guitar amps and keyboards and very PA cool system and all that stuff uh set up down there and uh, of course here in my studio i've been recording um the uh, current cd is called joy uh beautiful jazz and pink featuring gail johnson and so nice I've gail been very very uh happy about that you know was, uh, a couple of tracks went on the charts and all that good stuff joy joy and uh, <laughs> kim waters nice and, um, and uh positivity with kim scott <laughs> And uh, Keystroke with Sekou Bunch, and of course, Paul Jackson Jr. and guitar on everything. Paul Jackson Jr. is the best. So it's been good, you know, it's been bittersweet, you know, um, not being able to be on the road and be at the festivals and kick it with everybody. But sure, sure. I think I've made the best use of the time um, recording. I had already invested in a lot of recording equipment, so I've been learning how to use it mostly. <laughs> nice. And, um, like I said, producing, I've been producing a lot of people. And uh, so I've been getting my producer skills together. So that's been a lot of fun because as a uh, composition student, um, you know, writing is really, really my forte. And of course it assisted my music directing skills as well. But uh, Awesome, Gail. But yeah, that's what I've been doing the past year. <laughs> I love oh, it. What made me want to record the song that Justin recorded for me. Yeah, well, let's Justin talk about and I that. I have already written three songs together. One was called On the Way Here, and I was flying from LA to Michigan. And uh, then when we got there, we did a minor groove, oh, yeah. a minor groove, <laughs> and that was so funky. And um, and then uh, we did the ballad. Um, just her and I. Just her and I, yep. or something like. I forget the name yep, of it, but all it. three of the songs were so beautiful. Um, you know, uh, Jim, his dad mixed everything and uh, we recorded at their home studio. And so that really inspired me to really up my game and get my room together, get my live room together so that I can yeah. have musicians over and to uh, record and, you know, experiment with the sounds that I would like to have. But uh, I think, um, I think Justin Young is just one young, ambitious, huh. driven, <laughs> musician, uh, entrepreneur, Aww. songwriter, and uh, I just love the new song, Summer Dance. I can't wait to continue working on it. I've already started working. I've laid it out. I, I got my whole little formula, but uh, love again. You know, he gave me all the tools that I need to really have a good groove and uh, and have a good sonic quality to start with. So that, that always helps, you know, when you have someone that appreciates all the elements that really needs to make a song with. Rhythm, Aww. melody, and harmony, and uh, I think just really captured all that in this song. So I can't wait to share it with you all. Cool, Gail. <laughs> Why do I keep playing music? They call me the queen of tenacity. Didn't you know that? <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time because I love it. Um, my sister reminded me when I was about two or three that mommy bought me a uh, toddler grand piano. And oh, then wow. I remembered, I just remembered me sitting there in a diaper and a, and a little white t-shirt and tinkering on this thing. But uh, I really didn't get my formal start until I was about 10 years old. But up yeah. until then, I had always wanted to to play. Everywhere we went, to my grandmother's house or to somebody else's house, they had a piano. And, wow. you know, we knew we weren't supposed to, you know, we weren't supposed to touch nothing. Yeah. So <laughs> when I go over there, you know, whoever house that had a piano, uh-oh, 
I would go by the keys and just kind of you know, <laughs> sneak and touch the keys. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I don't know. I was just enamored with it. I, I love. I just love something about the piano, which I was drawn to it. I had uh, six sisters and none of them play. Uh, oh. My baby sister, I got her started playing the bass, but it was too hard. Uh. <laughs> so uh, her thing was really dance. So she got off into dance and everything. But um, I just love music. And um, I was playing in bands. I mean, I was playing professionally by the time I was 14. So Wow, Gail. Incredible. You know, we had to have a chaperone, you know, my uncle. They'll use the chaperone us around and oh, yeah. we sit in the corner and drink our cokes and cherries <laughs> and, uh, until the next set began and then yeah. it was time to pack up we pack up the bus and head on home so I was making money you know I was making enough to pay my tuition for high school but um, awesome. at some point I wanted to really be professional I really wanted to know what I was playing I knew how to read music you know I read Burt Baccarat books I knew all the classical stuff I played all that stuff but I really wanted to play more commercial music. And when I saw Stevie Wonder playing at the Uptown Theater. Oh, wow. In, uh, North Philly. Stevie. <laughs> that was it. A portable keyboard. That's oh, it. Oh, yeah, I got it. So, um, you know, that was a, a lot of inspiration for me. I went on to go to a Berkeley College of Music because I wanted to learn more about uh, more about music and what awesome, I was doing. Yeah. And I didn't know I was going to get uh, exposed to a whole world full of jazz artists like uh, Bird and Coltrane oh, wow. and, and Duke Ellington and Teddy Wilson and all these people. Later, uh, Chick Corea returned to forever. Oh, we just lost him, but um, yeah. his music will forever live with us. So true. But um, you know, all these all these heavy cats. I wanted to play like them, and you know, uh, McCoy Tyner. That was my dude. That oh. was really my dude. But, McCoy. Um, I really just, um, you know, I really wanted to play. I really wanted to, and I still do. I want to play good. I want to, you know, entertain people like Ramsey Lewis. I want to, I want to be funky like Billy Preston. Nice. I want to be magical like Herbie Hancock. You know, so what keeps me going? Uh, I surround myself with wonderful musicians. Uh, the girls uh, ensemble Jazz and Pink. Uh, they are all just wonderful fantastic artists in themselves awesome. in their own right and so uh, over 50 musicians have staged um, um, jazz and pink over the years and so I surround myself with great artists great musicians and I just keep going I just uh, keep getting fed new music and new ideas and um, I try to execute them as best I can and so um, here we are, 2021. <laughs> That's it. And uh, we're still doing I just got my master's in music business. I know a lot about music, but I didn't know enough about music business. So, Congrats, Gail. That's um, awesome. That's been the, the, the latest thing, uh, is to just learn more about the business as well as the sure. writing and all that stuff. So I want to be uh, playing for as long as I can't do it no more. You can do it. 125. There you go. <laughs> I just had a birthday, by the way. <laughs> Happy birthday. But, um, <laughs> but I love it. I love music. And I love you too, Justin. Thank you so much for oh. including me and Always. for appreciating my art. And yep. uh, we're going to do some more things. And uh, let's get a Grammy for this one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> single out right now that was inspired by this crazy thing we're going through. Uh, oh yeah. I called it back together again because now that the vaccine is out, that's what we want. We want to be back together again you with sure our do. friends and our family. Um, so I spent a lot of time connecting with fans in non-traditional ways. Uh, I was reaching out through social media, performing concerts on social media, uh, posting performance videos whenever I could on social media. I also spent time writing to fans more through my newsletter, which people can sign up for at nice, Kim. kimscottmusic.com. So it's been great to spend time with family, uh, get back to just the art of creating uh, for creation itself, right? And I That's hope right. that people will enjoy uh, the fruits of that labor for all the music that's come out of this time. Definitely. I wanted to record a song with Justin because I know that he's a gifted writer. I Aww. know that he's a very talented and energetic 
artist himself. Um, you know, I, I play his music on my radio show, Kim Scott's Block Party Radio, which airs all across the world. And Thanks, Kim. He's just a huge talent. He reached out to me um, to let me know that he had a couple of tunes that may fit my style and my sound. And I was really excited to hear the, the concepts that he had. And I ended up choosing one of them. So I'm excited about it. Yes. I'm not going to tell you the name of it yet because we're still tweaking that. Um, but I think you'll love it. I think it's going to be a really spirited number, a real funky number that you're going to dig quite a bit. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed those interviews with the First Lady in Smooth Jazz, Miss Gail Johnson. We also had both vocalist and flutist Kim Scott, amazing, talented, as well as Lynn Roundtree and Jesse Thompson. So right now we're gonna bring out a dear friend that uh, has been to many shows of mine. And not just that, um, she is all the way from Michigan and um, she's just a very, very sweet person. So I'm gonna bring her out right now and uh, let's everyone say hello to Nancy when you see her. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see if I can bring her in. <laughs> All right. All right. There's Nancy. Say hi, Nancy. Hi, <laughs> hi and everybody. <laughs> All right. So, Nancy, you've been a big fan of smooth jazz. And uh, tell us about some of the concerts that you've been to in the past. Well, Justin, uh, recently, um, March 7th of last year, my husband and I had the honor of going to see Rick Braun when we were on vacation, and that was the last show that we saw. And I believe that was Rick Braun's last live show in 2020. But more memorable are some of the shows that I've seen with yourself and Alexander Zantek here in Detroit, um, both at Elizabeth Park uh, down river yes. and the Art Center. Uh, <laughs> Lynn Roundtree was there. Uh, we love smooth jazz, it's our passion. Um, Brian Culberson, of course, came here to Royal Music Theater. So yes, we, we have been uh, uh, connoisseurs and um, you know, much, uh, much love for the smooth jazz uh, uh, music for all, most of our lives. I love it, Nancy. So you're coming to us live right now from Michigan. <laughs> right, right, not too far from where your parents are, so. <laughs> I love it. I have, my mom and dad are in Canton, Michigan and Nancy and them are very dear friends. And so Nancy, I know you're in music as well. You sing as, as well, correct? Correct, yes, yes. I just in quite uh, recently uh, at my ripe old age has come into my passion yeah. uh, playing piano, learning to play the piano. I think I, I didn't forgot to mention that. Nice. And cantering at my local uh, church here uh, and trying to learn. I have a very great appreciation for music and uh, uh, what what you go through to make the sound look so, it sounds so beautiful. So, uh, yes. Thank you, Nancy. That's so much fun. It's so nice to have you on the show. I wanted to invite you on this show because during the last, during our episode one, which is like the first inaugural Thursday night show, you asked right. an amazing question in the comments on Facebook and I wanted to bring you on episode two and have you ask that question because I think it's an amazing question. Right, well, you know, I've learned with my, my singing, the most, probably the most crucial thing is the breathing. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get a hand on it and I know um, it, you had mentioned about the circular breathing technique. And I just wanted to know if you could elaborate on that a little bit. <clears throat> you know, and, and is that something that I can utilize as a singer, or is it just specifically for instruments, or you know, how how in your professional opinion does that work? Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna go ahead and go full screen right here, and okay. uh, um, thank you, Nancy, so much for that question. So I've been 
fortunate to learn the technique that Nancy's been referring to is called circular breathing. And what it is, if you can imagine you're um, like, let's say you have a, a glass of water with a straw. Um, let's say you're, you're blowing out bubbles in that glass of water. Well, at the same time that you're, you're blowing out bubbles, <laughs> you're, you're actually bringing in air through your nose and, uh, and you're storing it in your jaws. So that, and, and this, this, of course, it took some time because I wasn't used to inhaling and <laughs> breathing out at the same time. Yeah, but it's right. a, yeah, exactly, Nancy. But it's a total technique that uh, is called circular breathing. And I think uh, Kenny G has the world record right now for 45 minutes holding a note. But oh my God. yeah, exactly. But that's 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 exactly what the technique is. And anyone can can um, there's a lot of uh, tutorials online that you can go and search up uh, circular breathing. But that's how I started, uh, Nancy. I learned how to uh, take a cup full of water and blow air through the straw, make bubbles while you while you store. It's almost like you're storing up, you know, air while you're breathing out and the air that you store up in your jaw, you you develop these muscles in your in your um, in your yeah. cheek muscles and you're right. pressing out at the same time. So that's that's oh how God. I learned it. <laughs> wow. And how long did it take you to perfect that technique? Um, this technique took me uh, roughly, let's see here. Um, this technique took me roughly uh, three years to kind of learn wow. how, how to wow. do it. Because it's... Right. Uh, right. It's no joke because you you have to like build up these muscles and you have to like it's 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 the whole nine. But Nancy, I really appreciate the question because that that is awesome that uh, well, that you asked that. <laughs> well, thank you so much for addressing it and whatever whatever help you know you you've you've enriched our life so much with your music. I just I just want to say that song that you did for your mother down in Elizabeth Park. Oh. I will never. It was so beautiful. Uh, you, know, you feel it, you feel such a passion for the music. And to me, uh, one of your guests just said, you know, you you want people to feel the music, not just hear it. And yeah. I think that I think that's the most profound thing I, I've heard about music itself. You know, even at my ripe old age, I'm still learning. Uh, <laughs> that's amazing, Nancy. That's so sweet of you. Yeah, I remember that show. and. Uh, the yeah. song that uh, I sent to my mom that day was called uh, Forever and um, Forever. Yes. such a yes. sweet song. And I got a chance to play it on my soprano sax. Oh, um, wonderful. But, Beautiful. But, yeah. but Nancy, I have to say you are an amazing person. Thank you so much for your love of music and for supporting all of us artists. And, um, you, you know, you guys have traveled to all these different festivals. I would love to know one, once more. Tell me some more festivals that you've been to, because that's incredible. Well, um Alexander Zanchek did um, the uh, Muskegon Festival, you know, before the COVID. Um, you know, we, we've been to many of uh, the River Raisin, Down River. Um, you know, there's been, there's been many out west where we travel to Scottsdale and um, Palm Desert at the west in there, uh, Rockford Mirage. Oh, yeah. There's been many, uh, many uh, smooth jazz concerts there as well. So uh, the, the music has has gotten me through this last year. Um, I'm sure many people would agree with that as well. Without oh. music, life be, you know? That's so, <laughs> that's so <laughs> true, Nancy. Music is my therapy and those, I can't, you yeah. know, what was it? Uh, 15 months or 16 months ago in March yeah. when this all started, I like right. huddled in my cave and just started, you know, I called it my man right. cave, but just started making music and it was my therapy for the day because every there was a lot of anxiety in the world. <laughs> Justin, I did the, the first virtual mass for our church. And at that time, it was Good Friday last year. And we had to sing to an empty church. And I told the choir director, I don't know that I could do this. It was it was sad. But at the same time, it yeah. was, like you say, it was therapy. It so, and that's the power of music. So yeah. thank you. Thank uh. you, and all artists. You know, keep doing what you're doing because it, 
it's it's like you say it's therapeutic you know definitely no yeah doubt. and that's <laughs> one of the the biggest the biggest um things with music when you when you give as much as you can and you're writing and and you're performing and to hear those comments that like makes it all worth it nancy so absolutely you just made my night <laughs> thank, you, thank, you, thank you for explaining the circular breathing technique uh. i appreciate it Thank you so much, Nancy, for being part of the episode two of the Thursday night show. It was amazing to have you on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you, Justin. Yes. Take care. Bye-bye. So <laughs> Bye-bye. All right, you guys. Well, um, just to let you know, if you guys ask me a comment during the show, um, I just might bring you back on the show. Um, and this is uh, this has been so much fun. This is our Thursday night show and episode two. I hope you guys have had a great time. I know I have. And um, in the meantime, we'll see you next Thursday for episode three for more live performances and more guests. We'll see you guys later. See ya. <laughs> Hello, my friends. This is Jonathan Scott inviting you to watch the Thursday Night Show with Justin Young, live from the city that never sleeps, Las Vegas, Nevada, featuring new music and incredible artists such as Gail Johnson, Kim Scott, Jesse Thompson, and Lynn Roundtree. Tonight, Justin Young will be performing and so much more. This is the Thursday Night Show with Justin Young.